Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, you will find inspiring sample resumes for freshers in medical coding and also learn how to structure and present your own resume effectively in the competitive job market. So the agenda of this video is freshers non-certified without a trained resume, which means in this scenario, the individual is a fresh graduate are the newcomer to the field of medical coding without any training and without any certification. And the next one, fresher non-certified with training who have undertaken training in medical coding but have not obtained any certifications. And the third one, freshers certified. Fresher who have successfully obtained relevant certifications in medical coding the certifications like a crc cpc ccs like this all we have already discussed about this in the previous video if you want i will mention the link in the description you can watch so let's get into into the video this cv is for non-certified without a training new outcomer so here the objectives you can mention your professional summary. So we are uh, trying for medical coding, right? So I have mentioned one example for this. If you have any other objectives, you can mention here. Highly motivated and detail oriented recent graduate with a keen interest in medical coding. Eager to secure an entry level position in a healthcare, healthcare facility where I can apply my strong analytical skills and passion for accurate to contribute to efficient medical coding process and in the education section mention your all educations in the technical skills a fresher should have the good and strong anatomy and physiology skills then only we will crack the interview and also medical terminology medical abbreviations and excellent analytical and problem solving skills strong communication quick learner these last three skills comes under the soft skills so i will explain last about these skills as well other than these technical skills if you want you can mention the computer skills like um, a few people have done pgdca course which is related to the ms office and ms excel if you want or if you have the certification you can mention over here proficiency in ms word and excel fast and accurate typing skills and in the next as i told you in the certifications if you have any certifications you can mention other than the if you have pgdca you can mention other than that if you have any you can mention and the personal details you have to mention father's name if you want you can mention mother name gender may date of birth nationality if you want to mention hobbies you can mention other than you can leave it because they will ask the separate question for that and the languages speak and write marital status and declaration that's it for the non-certified without a training CV resume this resume is for the candidates who have taken basic medical coding training not the certifications so here you mention the name email and phone number if you have linkedin account you can also mention here and the, the objectives i have mentioned the same education is same in the technical skills i have removed the computer uh, skills for the trained candidates and i have added one more point here is the relevant course so in the basic training we will learn icd 10 guidelines and diseases procedures and few pathology topics and in the training whatever you learn you can mention here so i have mentioned only these uh, four topics if you have any other you can mention and the certifications is the same personal details and declaration also same this is about the train i have added only one point here is relevant course other than the non-trained non and trained cv is similar
let's get into the certified resume this cv is for the medical coding certified candidates i have taken example of a cpc certification if you have any other certifications here you can mention in the certified place you can mention the certification whatever you are holding and in the below of the phone number you can mention the linkedin account as well as i explained before objectives is same education same in the technical skills i have changed few points if you observe these strong understanding of coding guidelines and conventions ensuring compliance with industry stands proficiency in icd 10 cm cpt and hcpsc coding systems strong understanding of medical terminology and anatomy facilitating accurate code assignings and proficiency in assigning accurate codes for the various medical conditions which is related to the diagnosis procedures and all and also knowledge of medical terms abbreviations prefix suffix adding in accurate code section so the certified candidates should have the knowledge to assign the codes and here in the certifications if you want uh, the certification whichever you have you can mention from where you got from aapc or ahim yeah, you can mention that and the professional details and the declaration that's it i have changed only technical skills and the certifications compared to the non certified candidates here the 12 points a fresher resume should need not should but these points are enough contact information includes the full name address phone number or email address or uh, any other uh, information you are related to your personal and the objectives which is also called as the professional summary this this is to elaborate your career goals skills what you are uh, what you are having and how to contribute to the medical coding field and education whatever the educations you have you have to mention and the certifications also same and technical skills showcase your proficiency in a specific coding languages so whatever the skills you have related to the medical coding you have to mention over there and if you have done any projects and internships you can mention over there and coming to the achievements highlight any notable achievements or awards or recognized by the academics you can mention hobbies uh, as per me you don't need to mention the hobbies in the cv because while we are fresher so we, so we don't have so much topics to discuss in the introduction over there you can mention about the hobbies no need to mention in the resume uh, and weakness strength and weakness also same that's what i didn't mention in the resumes and the personal details in the personal details i mention your date of birth marital status mother name father name or languages you know like i mentioned in the resumes right like and if you have any reference uh, you can mention as per my knowledge these 12 points in a for a fresher's resume and also you don't need to mention the 9th and 10th point yet also because you can explain about these in the introduction everyone every hr should ask you introduce yourself to find your communication skills remember your resume is your ticket to success so polish it with confident and let your skills shine so comment below for what you are looking other than the freshers jobs in hyderabad location if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching again